Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Opening week in the NFL is an exciting time for everybody, including these two teams here today. So now let's go to Toronto, Canada, where Jim and Phil have the call. Anticipation is in the air as we join you for the start of another year of the NFL on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And, Phil, it's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? I like what you said there. All kinds of hope. There are 32 teams right now that say, that are saying to themselves, we can win the Super Bowl. And they really believe it because everything you've done, the new players, the draft, the new schemes, you think they're going to improve your football team? We'll find out here today if it has. The Mounties are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Matt Frader has teed it up for the opening kickoff. with four years under his belt. And the season is underway. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. The Mounties bring in an extra tight end for this play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback's face. Third and four coming up following that completion. The play clock's running down. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Has Watkins. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. Manuel's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Here's the handoff. He's tackled right at the 48. Second down here. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Gives it to him again. That's a gain of only a yard. Third down on the way. Offense lines up here. He'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Williams got it. And a first. There's no doubt, time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Watkins going to get set in the slot for this snap. Handoff by Manuel. Warns there that time for the tackle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good positive run the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive manual set empty backfield the toronto mounties will take the snap from the 30 on the money Trevathan that time off the tackle that's a nice job by the offense there get the first down keep those chains moving give yourself three more opportunities First down at the 18. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And he's tackled some three yards away from a first down. The Mounties know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. 
They can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good solid run that time. Back to him. He'll pick up seven this time. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold him. First and goal. Right back to him. Picks up maybe three. And here we have second down. Mounting a serious drive. Again, they'll lean on him. He is in for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Makes the PAT. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. And no return as this goes for a touchback. And now we've got a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy's he's he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and and he keeps playing solid Let's football. Go. Go so if he goes out here today and, and plays a good solid game again today, we're gonna we're gonna start talking about him differently here in the future. Balls marked down at the 27. If you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Second and three. Looks to his left. Finds Thomas. Has 12 on this play. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Zach Dicer under center. And he's thrown to the ground. My God, you talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both full. They get run over and they give up a sack. The first quarter is behind us. And we'll step aside as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. And now they'll try over again on second down. Ball lines up in the backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That'll stop the play right there. Well, doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing the football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, don't force it. Dump it off and wait for the next time you get it. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything. And it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. He's going to try and return this one. Casey's going to make the tackle. The Mounties are set for their next possession. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. The give out of the eye. picked up and finally tackled at the end and with these incredible rushing numbers it's no surprise to see this team on top they are dominating on the offensive line there's no question about that they're being very physical and that's why they're leading this football game first down at the 50 and, but the hit knocks the ball out Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Emmanuel from the gun. Throws to the right. Catch made. They'll mark the football at the 22. 
The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Go. We'll go ground. That's a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Offense lines up here. Second down, four to go. Looking to the right side and throwing. And it's Bob Miller who takes a stand. Rudolph, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. He can run all the routes. How about this out route that time? Does it with such grace and ease and makes the catch just short of the first down. Third and short. The give. And Ward's there to take it down. First down here after the run. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. And that's a gain of maybe five. This will be second down. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. They call. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. It's good. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Tlaib's got it. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Broncos are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. The Broncos will approach this play from out of the pistol. First down at the 18. Ball's going to take the handoff now. Dan picks up about three. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Broncos will go with the pistol on this play. Second down and seven. Ball's taking the handoff. Taken down at the 27. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Balls handed the football. Darius is the one who made the big stop. Well, when you have good team speed on the defensive side, you can make plays just like this. You can get it in the backfield and tackle the running back for a loss. All set to punt here. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. And it'll be cold quit back to punt. He's going to try and return this punt. In on the stop. The Mounties getting ready now to start their drive. Offense lines up here. Manuel's going to be in the pistol here. First down at the 25. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brought down after a gain of six. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and four. Throws to the right. And that's Tlaib, who almost came away with a pick. 
Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. The Toronto Mounting snap it at the 31. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Well, that was some defensive effort that time to knock the ball away and deny the reception. Yeah, beautiful job. A good defense called by the defensive coordinator, but the defender timed it perfectly, and that's what it's all about in the NFL. you got to time up these throws and catches and hits exactly, and the defender did it that time. Watkins has got it. First down. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it, and they get it. Good job. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. Green and yet! Green and yet! Hand off made. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. That leads us to second down. Offense lines up here. Manuel has got it in the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Very nearly intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. On the way, third down. The Mounties at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just got to make a better decision at the quarterback position. Going for it on fourth down. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun to Williams. The Mounties now move the chains. The Toronto Mounties signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Incomplete. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. They bring in the extra tight end. Second and ten. He'll keep it on the play fake. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. Boy, that was some hit that time that knocked the ball out. Yeah, it was a good hit. But listen, you can tell the receiver was expecting that big hit. I don't know why. You're going to get hit no matter what. So you might as well just go ahead and catch the football. Bad job by the receiver that time. Has Watkins. Watkins taken down. The Mounties are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. The Mounties will take the snap from the 35. Reaches out and snatches it. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Lining up for a 44-yard field goal. The kick is through for three. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Broncos are set now for their next possession. Get ready, 
The third quarter begins with this play. That picks up 11. Ball. The guy, anytime he gets a chance to get into secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still well done. Balls lined up directly behind the quarterback here. They'll run it here. They bring him to the turf. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Broncos will take the snap from the 35. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. But when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. First and ten. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense, hands on their knees. They are getting tired. First down at the 18. And incomplete. He was double covered that time. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. Coming up, second down. Ball lines up in the backfield. Gets the handle here. Takes it out right. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. The Broncos, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that one. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Now that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you have done, you have closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you've got a better chance. Matt Frater is ready to run up and kick this football. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They face first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He's brought down. It's now second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Alexander's in on the tackle. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left, well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. Hines is part. Ward's there to make the tackle. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football, but let's also give credit to the offensive line for pass protection and the coaching staff. They have done a tremendous job of coming up with different plays to find different ways for him to catch the football. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down, three for the first. And he's tackled down picking up the first here in the second half one look at these stats tells you a big reason this team's on top today they've been able to run the football they have been physical all day long it's just like this you're in a fight you're throwing body blows they're working why go to the head go for the knockout don't do it stay to the body that's what they've done on the offensive side when you talk about counter runs what we just saw that time the defense thinks the play's going one way then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Second down and two. That's an interception. 
That brings the play to an end. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. Ball lines up in the backfield. To the ground, left side. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First and ten. Set up screen. He makes the catch. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Let's go. The final quarter begins with this snap. No one in sight has the grab. Looking ahead, the Mounties will be on the road in Seattle next week, while the Broncos will be playing at home next week. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Zach Dicer will take the snap from out of the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. It converts on the three. When an offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it, get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. It's a touchback this time, so Manuel will start this drive from the 20. The Toronto Mounties now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Wide receivers are bunched up. First down at the 20. Slashes to the left side. Running backs. They love counter runs. They know when a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great money lane there. He's got the catch, and he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on, not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. The Mounties take it from the 28. Watkins got the catch and the first. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Now first and ten. Here's Rudolph. Rudolph met at the 37. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Two tight ends on the field here. Handoff running right through the trenches. Taken down at the 39. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Third and four. He'll throw it over the middle. Up in the air. And he's got the catch. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game. And you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game. Just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Secures it with two hands. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. That's second down coming up. Will go ground. He's tackled right at the 31. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third down following the run. 
The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. He's brought to a halt. Good job of knowing the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. The Mounties will take the snap from the 30. Throws to the right. Makes the catch in open space. And Ward's in on the tackle. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Back now following the two-minute warning. The offense wants to just hold on to the lead to the end. First down here after the completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking to go up top again on first down. Ward that time in on the tackle. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. The long drive continues. Second and into the end zone for the touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. The Toronto Mountains with an extra point try on the way. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Takes it from the two. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Thomas is lined up in the slot. From the gun. That pass incomplete. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. That's a timeout by the D. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Second down coming up. The Broncos come to the line with an empty backfield from the shotgun. Brings it into his body. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. First down. Pressure on every snap now. They'll go right to the hurry-up. Won't use a timeout here. And Williams is there to make the stop. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. Reaches out and grabs it. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Latimer's lined up now as a slot receiver. And it's Mario Williams who makes Mitz meat out of that play. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. Ball lines up in the backfield. First down at the 44. Finds Thomas. Demarius Thomas takes the hit and is brought down. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. He's wide open for the grab. Graham's there to take him down. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest of the way. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here from the gun his man touchdown and 
drawing close. That's a nice touchdown here. You're still losing under two minutes to go, but you know what you've done? You've put the game in doubt. So don't give up. Keep your confidence up. The other team, they're getting tight. Make them get tighter. You still have a chance to get this done. Inside of the uprights. No surprise here as they line up for the onside kick. The Broncos trying to keep their hopes alive and recover an onside kick. The Broncos come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. Williams is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. The Broncos take it from the 43. Makes the reception. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Zach Dicer will take the snap from out of the gun. Out of the gun. He makes the catch, and he knows where he has to get to to pick up the first. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. The Broncos lined up. Everybody split out wide. Second down and ten. And he's forced to the ground. The Broncos call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Third and long. A big spot here as they trail late. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third and long. Going deep. Looking for Demary. Thomas almost intercepted that time. Fourth down is on the way, and to the surprise of no one in this stadium, they're going for it. Yep, and you know who's going to win this battle? The toughest, most physical team. That's what the NFL is all about. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Broncos will take the snap from the 45. Down the field, and that's Williams who almost had the interception. So they take a shot down the field that time, and you've got to think they're going to go right back to that same play. Yeah, they can go back to that play, but also, Jim, remember in the NFL, everybody has these end-of-the-game plays. You can throw it short. You have some laterals blocking down the field. There's a couple ways to get that last play in the end zone. You get that win week one, and it certainly takes a little bit of the edge off, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does more than that. It takes a lot of the edge off. Uh, when you win the opening day game, you just feel like, hey, we're going to win them all. And all that hard work, it was all worth it. And the following week, you're going to listen to the coach because he led you to that first victory. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now. And we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.